There we go, you've just seen me take a wheel off, as interesting as that could possibly be. We've got a lovely box to fear in today. It's got a, a suspension knock slash noise. So you've seen me take the wheel off. Wheel around the car now and show you what the issue is. Now whether you've seen these or not on the cars, it's got plastic drop links. Now with the weight off the car, they're not too terrible if you, if you can get in there. Hear the noises now with the weight on the car they crunch because the plastic is terrible so we're going to change them for oh, no. i'm going to bring it on for the journey see how it goes one bolt there and the one bolt just around the back here to uh, play with now we've not really got to look after the boots or anything on it because we are Replacing the whole drop link, but if you were to take these off and have to reuse them, there we go, yeah, that's all we can go just in the end and hold it. So we're just going to savage them off because we're not reusing them, and uh, here we go. Trial and error on sockets, I'm used to working on Volkswagens. And they're all different. So go with an 18, like an 18 good shot. Yeah, beautiful. Normal size ratchet and an extension. And it might come off or it might spin. And if you can't undo it with that ratchet, For a bit tight. That's good. It's not going to come off. <clears throat> So we cracked it with a big ratchet. Now we can just use a little one just to wind the rest of it off. And you will probably find that it spins, which it is doing. Voxels have a, a clever little cut out on them. So you can't get a spanner in. Give it the right size. I can show you this. I've got the old one. Spanner just gripped on the inside of the ball joint, stops it spinning and pull the nut off. Simple job to do, it make a massive difference when you're uh, going down the road and obviously with your handling and stability of the car as well. One, and in a moment, I'll show you how we just pop it out of its socket and uh, take the rest off. So you will see the back of my head for a minute, do apologise. Bit of a tight one. So when doing out like these, bring the long ones. You will need them.
feel under pressure where the owner stood next to you as well. It's not an issue. He's a bit shy at the minute, but I will bring him on camera in a bit. He will find this inside nut is a bit, a bit fiddly purely because it's facing the wrong way. That's just how Voxel like to design their uh, cars. And there's not a lot of room to move your ratchet between the drive shaft and the roll bar link. Or the roll bar link and the bottom arm. Or the bottom arm, or the roll bar link and the trap would end. So it's little turns at a time. Until second off. And then all we need to do is in that ideal world, don't use the end of your bar. So just snap on a watch in there won't replace it. And just push the roll bar link down a little bit. Just so it pulls it off. And take some, some effort. Sounds like it makes a load of noise, but it doesn't. So there's the old uh, knackered one. So that's how it comes off. You'll see that the ball joints are alright really, but in here, just with no pressure on it, the noise that it's making. So, replace that with a nice shiny metal one. I can show you on the camera the little cut out that I was on about, just so uh, we do need to reuse them. So we have, we've gone for the upgraded metal version, purely because a little customer likes seeing me work on his car. Replacing drop links every year is a bit crap for him. It gets expensive. So metal drop links. Now the cut out I wanted to show you is just here. As you can see, so they're not off. You see, just down the side, there's some flats filed into it. Now, not all car manufacturers have uh, thought about us poor technicians, and they don't do this. So that sits in there, and the spanner can hold it, because every time you undo one of these nuts, that ball joint in there will spin. And the more that ball joint spins, the more likely you're gonna rip a boot. Ripping a boot is an MOT fail in the UK, so we don't wanna do that. So that just sits in there, holds that, Put the new nuts on. But now I'm going to show you it fitted. I'm only going to show you one side on the camera purely because once you've seen one side done, you've seen it all. Most cars are the same, you can get different suspension setups. So, what we're going to do, pop it in. You will have to pull down on the roll bar again just to get it somewhere near. And even more so if the car's lowered, you'll have to do that. Sometimes you do actually have to jack the uh, the bottom arm up as well. Depending on how low the car is. So we'll give it a go. That. 
So I just whipped it off camera just for a second, just so I could lift the suspension unit up. I had the, the roll bar link got to about there on the shocker and uh, it just wanted off. So I've lifted the hub up and uh, now, as you can see, she's in, she's in the hole. So I'm gonna bolt it up now on camera, have a quick chat with you after, bring the owner on who doesn't wanna be on camera, but it's gonna happen anyway. I like doing that. It's good for entertainment. And uh, yeah, he's in the background. So he knows he's coming. So this job on most modern cars, like I say, is fairly easy. But again, if you're not a thousand percent sure what you're doing, either ask for help or take it somewhere that's gonna do it for you. Um, there's no shame in saying you're out of your depth on any car repair. And I'll be the one to say that as uh, it just isn't, it's not worth risking. You know, it might seem like a trivial job doing a, uh, a roll bar link, but again, you're taking wheels off, you're taking suspension apart. If you're not confident, I will not Just seek help. Everyone's got a mate that's a mechanic. We love helping people. And normally on a roll bar link, in better news, on a roll bar link, you'll find that uh, on the new ball joint, it doesn't spin. So you can tighten them up quite nicely. Which I'll show you that in a second. We always use a spanner anyway to make sure we're a thousand percent tight. Spanner with it cut out. Pop it in there. Always mind out for the boot. I know you're not, you can't really catch it, but just in case, it's really not worth that MOT failure. There we go. We're in. Nice and tight. tight again so we're in we're on and we're tight so I'll take you uh, take you for a grand tour of this drop link now and uh, see what we think I'll just flip you around just so you can see well into the wheel arch and see exactly what I was doing I'll take talk you through it so that was the part we were changing today, which is an anti-roll bar link, or sway bar link, or drop link. There's quite a few names for it, but it is attached to this bar here, which is your sway bar, your anti-roll bar, which goes from this side to the other. It does exactly what it says on the tin. It's there for roll on the vehicle. It's not to completely eradicate the roll, it's there to uh, control it. And with too much roll, your car won't handle very well. And again, not enough roll, your car won't handle very well. So uh, these can knock. They can also be a MOT failure if you're in the UK. So all we do is we swap that bolt out there. You can see why it was a bit of a nightmare to film that bolt because Vox will have it facing that way. And then that one just sits on the shocker like so. So that is it, whole ball on. He's had a new bottom arm as you can see. That's the bottom arm that I was talking about, a wishbone arm. This is the steering. So that's your track arm or track rod end. And that's the arm and the boot goes to the steering rack. This is your shocker there. This is the hub assembly that has all your brake disc caliper. And then just here, in this bit where my finger's wiggling, is your drive shaft and CV gator. Just in there, and then you can just see the side of the gearbox. So that is the overview of this suspension on this Vauxhall. They are very nice to work on Vauxhalls. They, uh, they think of the technician, which most manufacturers don't so uh, there it is anti-roll bar link i'm going to do the other side now off camera so once you've seen it once you've seen it all then i'll quickly nip in we'll do an outro and uh oh yeah bring the owner on there he is he's looking as happy as ever there he is he loves it 
we like working on Mark's car. There he is in the background. Look, he's gone all shy now. Big fella like himself as well. And look, he's gone redder than his car, which as you can see, is fairly red. So I'm gonna do the other side now with the camera and uh, show you at the end. So I'll see you in a bit. There we go. And it's a great example of his Zephyra as well. I'm not gonna tell you what engine's in it because he's all about embarrassed about that as well. But it looks good, doesn't it? So you've seen that side done. Drop link. Just I put the wheels on. I'm always going to stress make sure you talk the wheels or the last thing you want is a wheel to come flying off. But this is the driver's side. As you can see through the wheel there, that shiny new drop link all fitted. So there it is, a drop link job done. On to the next one. So whatever that may be, you'll see feedback suggestions are always welcome on the channel. It's always good. And uh, thank you very much to Mark, the owner there, for letting us film his car and uh, bringing you along for the repair. So uh, thank you very much. See my face now. Thank you very much for uh, coming along, checking the, uh, the video out, the content out. Please like and subscribe and show all your mates. Helps me get a bit further. And uh, yeah, take care. See you in the next one.